I mean, mood 24-7. What's going on, y'all? This is your girl, Chrissy L, back with another video. If you did not watch my last video, make sure you guys go and watch that after you watch this video. Don't leave this video to go watch that video. You're here. Might as well just sit back and relax, okay? Okay. So, okay. Um, so, before I begin, I just want you guys, if you do not have a reusable straw yet, you need to go get one. These I got from Target. Um, they're pink. They, they get washed. They're plastic. And you're saving the turtles. So now, you know, all these restaurants are giving out um, these paper straws. And I'm not a fan of paper straw because it doesn't allow me to taste my drink the way that I want to taste it. And it'd be getting like all like soggy and I don't like that. So these reusable straws are fantastic. These came in a four pack from Target. I believe they were $11.99. Um, I'm going to try to find them and I'll put the, the link in the description as well for these. But also, Jeffree Star has some, and I really want to get them. They're actually super cute. So um, those are a little more expensive, though, I believe, than the ones from Target. But they're still the same thing. So these are super cute. They can be washed, and they just look fabulous when you're drinking. Like, who doesn't want to drink with a pink straw? Mm, this strawberry lemonade is so good. Strawberry lemonade from Chili's has to be the best strawberry lemonade out there. Actually... BJ's has some good strawberry lemonade, but this is actually really good too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about how I started becoming or just started posting and wanting to be a plus size influencer on social media. Hold on. Okay, so pretty much what happened was um maybe about like two years ago no I'm sorry three years ago about three years ago I had a very tragic loss in my family and it took a very big toll on me and my whole family so I kind of lost myself then um I put on a lot of weight I wasn't really dressing I wasn't going out I wasn't doing anything that I would normally do I was just very 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 depressed and um, I kind of lost myself. Well, I didn't kind of, I lost myself completely. I just was not the girl everybody knew me to be um, from high school. This was after high school. So in high school, um, everybody knew me. I was in the fashion academy. I went, I did fashion. I won stylist of the year in high school. So it was just, I was always up to par, always did my hair. I always made sure I looked good. I always, you know, took care of myself. So, when I had that loss in my family, I lost myself completely. And I was gone for about two years. I put on a lot of weight and I just stopped doing my hair. I stopped doing my makeup. I stopped dressing. I stopped going out. And it was just really bad. It was a really bad dark time in my life. So for me, I was not somebody that anybody could look up to or ask for advice at that time. But then um, I was working at a call center. I was there for almost five years. And working in a call center, if you work in a call center, is dumb crazy. Like, it's just so hectic. You're dealing with everybody's problems. You're trying to fix everybody's problems because they're calling in because obviously they can't fix something themselves. So they need your help. So it was like you just taking all that energy in and being around all those people and taking like carrying that on yourself. And that was a big burden on its own working at that job. Um, but I did, I met somebody there and we actually started dating. We were in a relationship for, I don't remember how long, but this person like really 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 helped me get on my feet um they were just so supportive of me they understood what i was going through and they still decided to you know come into my life and take on that extra burden on their self um burden being me so just allowing that person into my life and allowing that person to want to be able to help me was something that was one of the best decisions I made. If not, I don't know where I would be. I don't know if I would still be depressed. I don't know what would have happened to me um, if I if I didn't allow that to, to happen. So after that, um, me and that person actually broke up. <laughs> and 
And instead of, you know, we broke up and we're cordial. We're actually really good friends right now. We don't talk every day, but we talk just enough. We keep in touch with each other. Uh, it was, it was never like, it, it just, it wasn't any bad blood. Um, you know, we had our ups and downs, but it is what it is. After that breakup, normally when something like that happens, I kind of just lose myself. I was like, uh, I don't, a lot of people like they turn up and they start going out. No, I stayed home. I didn't really do anything. I was just really to myself. Um, so what happened was I took the other way around and I was like, you know what? I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to start loving myself and the problem was after i had that loss in my family i didn't take the time to understand myself and learn myself and actually love myself before i hopped into that relationship and a part of the re the release and why the relationship didn't work is because like i wasn't confident and i didn't have any self-love so how could i love somebody if i didn't love myself um i just was kind of just thrown together i wasn't really put together i just kind of just use glue to put myself together and I didn't cement myself I didn't seal myself so after that breakup I took a 360 turn I decided to start working out more and trying to get off that 50 pounds that I gained when I had the loss of my family I started investing in myself I started buying makeup I started buying hair products I started buying clothes um and I just tried to get myself together and mind you, I'm still working at the call center. So at that point, I was still had that burden from the call center, but I was just trying to work hard towards me and working hard towards exactly what I wanted, you know, for myself to see myself go. So then um, it's actually only been about a year that I've actually been trying to, not trying, but act that I've become a influencer to people that people actually want to hear me they want to they see me people actually see me now and they actually want me to be somebody important in their life that they look up to mentor what whatever it may be i'm actually that person now um so about a year and some months ago i actually quit the call center job because i was like i can't i can't do this anymore i cannot be depressed at work and then trying to become somebody outside of work it just wasn't working for me um, and it, it was, they were, they were, they were conflicting each other. They weren't going hand in hand. So, um, I was jobless for like three months <laughs> and it is what it was. I had money saved. So I knew what I was doing. I was jobless for about three months. And in that time, I did a lot of research. I went on YouTube and I, and I, and I found ways to help me grow. Um, I, I, I met new people that I would never, never even know. I, started getting out more i started learning more about what's going on in the world and learning what's going on in my community and i started learning more about myself that i didn't even know was there um out of nowhere i just had this boost of confidence and like i ran with it i took it and i ran with it i took that opportunity and i and i left i just i just was so i it was just one day i woke up and i'm like wow i really feel really good i'm gonna do something with this so i, I told myself that I'm going to start taking pictures and um, at first I was taking my own pictures and then I was like, you know what, I need somebody to take my photos for me because the pictures that I want to post and the content that I want to release and the um, audience that I want to attract, I can't do these mirror pictures. So I actually found uh, my best friend. She's actually really good at taking photos. So I'm like, hey, I want to take these photos. It cost me nothing. It, it, it literally cost me nothing. I found things that I had in my closet. And I kind of just put outfits together that I didn't have pictures in. And I found a location, whether it had been the beach, the park, my backyard, my living room, whatever it may have been. And I just started taking pictures, um, you know, portrait mode, really nice looking pictures. I made sure my lighting was on point. And I just said, you know what, I'm going to post them. Like some of them were a little risky and I'm like, it is what it is. I'm going to post them because this is what I want. And I post the pictures and I just start getting so much feedback and people are telling me, oh, you should model. Oh, you should be a brand ambassador. Oh, you should be an influencer on social media. Like your confidence is, is just extraordinary. And now I'm going out in public and people are saying like, I don't even know these people. And they're coming up to me like, oh, are you, do you have a YouTube channel? Or do you have like an Instagram channel? An Instagram channel, an Instagram page. And I'm like, I mean, yeah, I have an Instagram page. I didn't have a YouTube page at the time. 
And I just got so many people asking me to make a YouTube page because they're just so inspired by me. Um, so I just, I decided to do that and, and now I'm here. This is my second video. Um, so, you know, the photos just started reading, you know, I started posting more photos and more content. I started being more active. I reached out to other plus size influencers on the social media Instagram platform and they're just constantly giving me advice. They're constantly giving me tips and stuff to succeed and be successful in this. And I love that about that 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 um that family of plus size influencers because they're not saying no I don't want to help you or you have to pay for this blah 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 they're literally telling me exactly what I need to be successful and it's like we all are different and we all have something different to offer so why would why would they hide that information from me you know what I'm saying it's like somebody had to give it to somebody for somebody else to know it's not like everybody just thought of this in their mind it's like it, it's a trend it's just something that's happening so I got super lucky with that and I'm super grateful with that. And honestly, it just, the pictures are what helped my confidence. When I saw those pictures of myself, I was like, wow, I look amazing. And just posting them and like the feedback I got and the likes and the comments and the messages that people are sending me and now going out in public and actually being recognized. Like people are asking me, what's your Instagram? I want to follow you. Like, I don't even know these people. And it's like just being so inspiring to these people is what's helping me going and what's what's keeping me going and that's it makes me want to post more pictures so now yeah i am investing money into what i'm doing you know i'm starting to purchase more clothing items i'm starting you know i purchased a tripod so that i can record videos um i'm investing into different software programs for editing videos and stuff like that so but to start off you don't need any money it's just you you need to be completely stress free you stress free this <laughs> stress free you need to be completely stress free you need to have all those burdens off of you you don't want anything toxic in your life in order for you to move forward and be successful with what it may be you want to do it may not even be being on social media or being on a platform at all it just may be you just your everyday life if you feel down if you feel left out if you don't feel pretty baby girl you are beautiful and you have to see that for yourself before anybody else can see that you have to walk with your head high you have to you have to dress for your body don't wear these over big clothes you were given this body and you have to work with it unless you're going to do something about it you know what i'm saying you have to be comfortable if you're not comfortable then you take that step to work out or get surgery or whatever it is you may be but me i am comfortable with my body and I show it people see it like it's just it's self-love and it's just so radiating and it's affecting a bunch of other people um so it just depends on you and I'm free to talk to anybody if anybody wants to get more personal with me my Instagram is below you guys can DM me I really I respond to every DM that I get that is you know of sense um it just starts with you and I want you guys to know that like you're beautiful and in order for anybody else to see that you have to see that and you have to remember that if you're like oh my god this person doesn't think I'm pretty this person doesn't think I'm pretty how do you feel do you feel like you're pretty do you know you that bitch do you know you that bitch though so it's like if you don't if you don't have that confidence and I'm I mean I'm, I'm I don't want to say I'm cocky but I, I'm cocky I know I look good and it's like that is what other people are going to see. The energy you put out into the world is the energy you're going to get back. And you have to remember that. So if you go out there like, damn, I'm a little self-conscious. I don't know if I should wear this. Don't wear it. Wear something that you are like, damn, I look good. Don't wear something you're going to be pulling down the whole entire time you're out. Don't be wearing something that you feel like you have to cover your stomach or cover something. Or you like, don't do it because you're going to be very uncomfortable and people are going to see that you're not confident. If I, if I have something that I know that may be a little risky and I'm like, you know what, I'm not ready to wear that yet. I'm going to wait until I'm completely confident to wear that. Then that's what I'm going to wear. I'm not going to wear it unless I'm 100% confident because people are going to see that I'm not confident in it. And it's, it's, it's going to, their energy is going to now mess with my aura. And it's going to have me thinking like, damn, do I not look good? When I know, and when I left the house, I'm like, damn, I'm that bitch. So if I don't keep that same energy throughout the whole evening, it's not it's, it's not gonna work for me um so that's that self-love tip baby girl it starts with you and you are the one that's gonna have to 
really, really, really work for that for you, not for anybody else. So if you want to get that, it starts with you, like I said. Um, as far as shopping, that's going to wrap up that self-love. Um, as far as shopping tips, I mean, I, I, I tag pretty much everywhere that I shop in my photos. So if you go to my Instagram, you guys will be able to see the pictures that I'm posting and seeing where I'm shopping. I've actually started working with um, a brand. It's called the Bombshell Boutique. She actually specializes in plus size clothing, actually very cute, trendy plus size clothing. I've actually just become an influencer slash brand ambassador for her. Um, we did a couple shots already and uh, they are posted on my page. You guys can go shop her boutique. And I am working with other local boutiques in my community um, that cater to plus size women, you know what I'm saying, versus working with like the other bigger brands um, that are easy to find online because we all don't want to look the same. We all don't want to dress the same, you know what I'm saying? So working with these smaller boutiques that aren't really familiar with everybody who's not familiar with them, it works for me for now because it's like I can dress differently and I have different something different that other people don't have and also helping out i love to help any any private owned business especially ran by a woman like i'm there to help like we are together we got to stick together um so if you have if you or know somebody that has a boutique you guys reach out to me i'm willing to help anybody i'm willing to to work with anybody that has a goal and that is is success not successful but that their mind is ready to work don't come at me with no half ass shit you need to be ready to work and you have to be, you have mentally, you have to be there because if you're not, I'm there. So if I have somebody that's not there, it's not going to work. We both have to be ready to put in a hundred percent. Um, but I will tag the bombshell boutique in the description box. You guys can go view her website and her Instagram. Um, she does post weekly with new arrivals. So you guys can definitely check her out. Um, and maybe shop with her a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can get a code for you guys for her, you know, off your first purchase, 10%, whatever like that. I'll work with her and see what she says. And I'll let you guys know about that. Um, so that's pretty much what this video was about. It was just about how I've become who I am and, and what it took me to get here. Um, I'm going to do another video as to why this is something I want to do and as to what what am I getting from this so that's going to be another video um later on but until then I'm going to wrap this video up so you guys make sure that you guys are commenting liking and subscribing to my page make sure you're commenting on the videos commenting in um on my photos on Instagram and please don't forget to subscribe and put on your post notifications until next time y'all and if you didn't catch that video with the introductory slash 15 questions 15 questions 15 facts about myself make sure you guys go over to the last video that i posted and make sure you guys watch that video if you want to get to know me a little bit more okay well this is gonna wrap up the video today it's a beautiful day in south florida so your girl here is about to hit the streets it's about to hit the streets hit the streets hit the streets nah but i'm probably just gonna go watch tv or some shit but um Y'all stay blessed, stay rich, stay positive, and stay focused, you guys. Stay focused on what your main goal is and do not lose track. Do not lose faith. Stay on that path that you need to go, okay? Until next time.